So for um, number 31, they want us to write down three equations for C, D, E, so that um, C, U plus D, V plus E, W is equal to B. So I've gone ahead and just put in these constants. So the constant C multiplies the vector U, this one. The constant D multiplies the vector V. And the constant E multiplies the vector W. And so let's write the three equations. So for the first equation we're going to write for the first element here, this first element. So each, each element gets scaled by the respective uh, constant. So I have that 2 times c, 2 times c, and then minus 1d, minus 1d, plus 0e, so I'm not just going to write, I'm not going to write that, is equal to 1. And then I have negative c, negative c, plus, now I'm doing the second one, so I have here that um, negative c plus 2d minus e is equal to 0. And then I have here that for the third one, I'm going to compare the third items. So 0c minus d, so I have that minus d plus 2e is going to be equal to 0. Okay, so once we're here, let's just... Um, express these in a, a different way. So this one I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to isolate for the variable c. Um, let me see, yeah, I'm going to isolate for the variable c because d is in, I have d in every single, um, in every single equation, right? So if I can isolate things in terms of d, then I can plug it back in and solve for uh, for what I want. And the reason that I know that I can solve, because it's asking us, can you somehow find C, D, and E, is because I have three equations and three unknowns, so it is possible. Um, so with this being said, I'm going to express C in terms of D. So I have here that 2C is equal to 1 plus D, and therefore C is equal to 1 half plus D over 2. So is equal to 1 half plus D over 2. Okay. Um, and let's see what else. And then from this one, I'm also going to express uh, E in terms of D. So here I have that 2E is equal to D, and therefore E is equal to D over 2. And so E is going to be equal to D over 2. Okay, so now that I have, and maybe let me put that in a different color. Now that I have E in terms of D and C in terms of D, I'm going to plug these two into the middle equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have here minus C, so minus 1 half plus D over 2, minus C plus 2D, and then minus E, which E is D over 2, so minus D over 2 is equal to 0. Um, and so let's just simplify things. So here I have that minus 1 half minus D over 2, uh, plus 2d minus d over 2 is equal to 0. And so minus d over 2 minus d over 2 plus 2d, I'm going to have that d is going to be equal to, and I'm going to bring the one half, negative 1 half to the other side. So d is equal to 1 half. Okay, so if d is equal to 1 half, now we can find e. So e is going to be equal to 1 half divided by 2, and therefore e is going to be equal to 1 fourth. So I have this here. Um, let me just remove these circles. And lastly, I'm just going to plug in the d is equal to 1 half. I'm going to plug it in here. So I have that c is equal to 1 half plus d. Uh, d is 1 half, so I should put that in, plus 1 half divided by 2. So that's equal to 1 half plus 1 quarter. So therefore, c is equal to 3 quarters. Okay. And yes, it is possible. So we say that c is going to be equal to 3 quarters. Um, D is going to be equal to one half, and E is going to be equal to one quarter. And that is possible because I have three equa equations and three unknowns.